Number 15. A substance, carbon-14, has a half-life of about 5,730 years. This means that after every 5,730 years, half the amount of carbon-14 present turns into something else. If the initial amount of carbon-14 was 120 grams, how many grams of carbon-14 would remain after 6,000 years? All right, so here's the idea. It, this is going to be something that is the values being cut in half every uh 5,030 years. So if you think about it, the amount of something present depends on how much it started with, and then it would be cut in half. Now, how often is it cut in half? Is it after one year? No, it would be cut in half every time you have 5,730 years. So really what that is, is means you take your time, and we're going to divide this by 5,730, so that after 5,730, you divide that also by the same number, you would get 1, which means you'd cut it in half one time. If you had uh, whatever, if you multiply this by 2, that'd be like uh, 11,460 years, I think. After 11,000, however many years, you would divide that, and you'd get the value 2, and you have half raised to the second power, which means you'd cut it in half twice, and so on and so forth. So this is the idea of the equation we're going to use. And so we want to know... Uh, if you start with 120 grams, and we do this for 6,000 years, it should be more than cut in half, because 5,730 would cut in half, so it's going to be a little bit less than 60. Let's go to our calculator and see what we get. I would take my 120 grams, multiply it by that half, but we raise it to the power of T, which is X, divided by 5,730. The x in this problem is 6,000. Whoops, where did my 6 go? There we go. There's my 6. Down here I have 5,730. There it is. And so this should tell me something a little bit lower than 60, and it says 58. So this would be about 58 grams if you rounded. Um, it doesn't say anything about rounding here. And so I'll round to the nearest tenth. I'll actually say about, oops, where's my marker? Here we go. About 58.1 grams. That's how much would be left over.